what's up? This is Numerous with Your Music Magazine. I am here with Forest Day. How are you guys doing today? Good. Jasper here. Sankey. Forest. And what do you guys play? I'm, a, I'm the drummer. I'm the singer and sax player. And bass player. Cool. So how long have you guys been together for? Three years. Three years. Yeah. Nice. Three years on Halloween. Okay, cool. So yeah. four, your first show was on Halloween. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, previous projects kind of led into this? Yeah. So, yeah, there's an evolution to it, I guess. But yeah, none of, none of the previous projects really sound like this at all. Right. And yeah. what sound is that? Uh, the current one? Yes. It's, people call out all kinds of things. Like it, I get some Danny Elfman, some Wango Boingo. Huh. Um, I get the people here, the rap and the punk and the jazz and the funk. Very cool. Yeah, there's something, there's something a little weird about it sometimes, you know? It's a little, a little like, circusy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just crazy. What kind of style do you feel like you bring with the drumming? Uh, you know, this is this is a band where it requires a big beat all the time, you know? Yeah. It's basically, uh, I gotta be punchy, I gotta be right on top of it, you know? Hard hitting. It's, yeah, you know? Right, pretty sweats. sweats. Yeah, you sweat a lot. Yeah. Work out. <laughs> yeah, good. That's the thing about the drums. I mean, it's hard to find a really overweight drummer. It usually keeps you toned pretty well. <laughs> yeah. no, the best drummers are like big, short dudes. Yeah. So I'm trying to like hell stuff. Beef up. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Pulling it down for the lanky white dudes. You know? cool. well, what about you? What kind of style do you think you bring with you? I mean, I just I bring it to the floor. Just keep it in the pocket. You know, keep that. With the bass, it's definitely, you know, it has a hip-hop driven backbeat to it, so I'm just like, you know, me and this guy just hold it together. I just flip off of this guy and, you know, just keep it all, keep it all in the pocket, keep it all around now. Yeah, it's not all, afraid to be a minimalist. Yeah. Like, yeah. everything gets a lot of space. Everything yeah. breathes, right? Yeah. yeah, it's all about the songs and the composition, you know. We're definitely focused on, on the point of every song. It's good because I feel like not a lot of bands really take that into consideration so much. It's actually let it breathe. Because everyone's trying to get their nut in. Yeah. 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 Look at so me. You gotta like save it for the right time. Right. right. Or there's seven of us on stage, so I don't need to be flashy. That's true just too. That shit down where these guys can you know, show off a bit. Cool. Uh, so you guys working on some projects right now in the studio? Yeah. Full length. First full length record's almost done. That it's probably awesome. gonna be uh, March. It's gonna be done. By like just a little after the new year, and but that'll make it a whole a year that we've been working on it. I think. Oh right. 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 When it comes out, yeah. it started in March of about nine. So you guys feel pretty good about it. Oh good, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, it's cool. Kind of gives you goosebumps, you know. <laughs> yeah, that post production feeling is getting closer and closer. For sure, but now it's like the big push where it's like it's not like the fun part mm. right now exactly. Yeah. Because this dude's mixing, Mark Needham's mixing it down in LA, and we're going back and forth over email over the mixes. Uh, so it's like, uh, it's kind of a bitch to have to go through the whole song and and uh, figure out what's wrong with each part and then type it down. Take really good notes on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier just, I'm used to just being, being in the it. studio and communicating. Oh, that one higher, that one lower. Yeah, yeah. Let's take that out. I have to get really exact. That's cool. Mm, it's that's rough, but it's yeah, cool. I yeah, I feel like it's really tough right at the end. Um, have you guys thought of the name yet? What you gonna call it? Uh, I've been like tickled by Shoot the Moon for a while. Mm, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Company. Um, familiar company is another familiar one. Company. I don't know which one it's gonna be. Yeah, maybe you've mixed them both. Shoot the Moon, Familiar Company. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what we're doing. Um, so you guys got some shows coming up. Yeah. Dude, I almost, pulled, I almost pulled an Obama right there. I was seriously like, <laughs> that is like he's the Obama. Yeah, that dude is suffering, dude. Put it out of its misery. Oh, no. Yeah, no. put it out of its misery. There you go. Oh, man. That Jasper, was the that serial was fly killer. What's the name of him? Pita? What a Pita? What's the name of him? Animal rights. Oh, you're screwed, dude. We're fucked. Yeah, we're screwed. You edit this down. No, we can't edit it. It's all just straight. It's on YouTube right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually live streaming right now. It's easy. <laughs> oh, I had a good question, but I forgot what it was. It was about shows. Oh, shows, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, uh, if you find yourself in the Big Sur area, we're playing January 9th at a little place, Fernwood. Yes. And then, Battle uh, Hooch. Yeah. Unbelievable band from the Bay Area. Killer. Cool. Very cool. Uh, and then Slams on the 23rd. 
uh, of January. Nice. That's when we're really pushing. It's gonna be yeah. a good show. You guys are kind of independently involved with that, right? Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. And actually, I was going to ask, um, you guys seem very independent-oriented, very willing to go out, do all the hard work yourself. Yeah. How's it been last year or so doing all that? It's been cool. Uh, it's, it's involved a lot of like sacrifice and the tightrope walk between jobs and getting out enough to like start a following places, you know? But, uh, but it's, been really, it's been really like encouraging and fruitful. Cause it's, it, every time we go to a place, it takes us like... Three or four visits, and then we start pulling, you know, right. like a decent crowd. So we're encouraged to go to keep on going to new places. It feels like it's always going like uphill too. You know, yeah. it's not like plateauing out right now. There's always like different stuff around the corner. You know, doing shows, popping up, it gets you excited, it keeps you going. Cool. And yeah, I think we're all about the grassroots effort. I mean, doing it ourselves and kind of figuring out what works for us. You know? Yeah, then when someone can step in that does it better. But, you know, yeah. But I mean, as much as all of us can learn about everything involved, you know, I think we're going to keep trying to do things ourselves as, as the, much as we can. Until someone can do it better. Exactly. Yeah, they yeah. Make, it, make it so they can, like, yeah, maybe pay themselves too. by making us, you know. Get a percentage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's where a good manager comes in. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Um, uh, uh, once again, a really good question. But I don't know it was. All right, anyway, so uh, where do you guys see your sound going next year? Like, after your album's done, you're probably gonna work on new material. Where do you see your evolution and progression taking you guys next? Uh, um, I'm kind of I'm feeling like more uh, songs that that are a little bit steadier throughout the whole thing, like maybe just a little less jumping around. Right. And uh, I got kind of a sound in my head going, but it'd be kind of weird to explain it. But uh, yeah, just like a really taut. Maybe not so aggressive, and uh, and actually, there's a, there's a bunch of songs we've been playing live for for like a couple of years that didn't even we didn't even record for this record. So the next record's half done nice. already with with tunes people have already heard. Yeah, kind of overflow. Yeah, but I got a bunch more on the burner. Yeah, we got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, this guy just keeps on pumping them out. So I just make these little frameworks. Yeah, and don't color them in for a while. But usually it works out for the better because I'll develop like a new style and uh, they're singing over it where I was like, I'm glad I didn't sing on that shit two years ago because it would have sucked. And uh, you know, I'll have like a new kind of flow over it. Yeah. Over a beat that I started a couple years ago, but then dropped it. And then too, getting a chance to perform songs live before you, you actually record them kind of helps evolve and you learn new things. They're living, about. breathing things when you go yeah. in the studio. You already know what it is. Yeah. And some of them wound up being sounding a little bit Deader once we were in the studio, so some of them took on even more life. Yeah, which was really cool, and which was hard to like be open to at first. You're like, shit, there wasn't a uh, wasn't a B three in this part before. Yeah, and it's hard when you've done things for a couple years straight. You get used to them, and new shit is kind of awkward. Yeah, but uh, but it worked out good. I think I think uh, for that reason, fans that are have already been following the music live, especially, are uh, going to get a kick out of the record. For the additions to them, it's not the same old kind of a remix on what you guys are doing. Yeah, we just kind of finished the thought. Yeah, there's yeah. some there's some pretty strings on there. There's some uh, little guest appearances. Here yeah, there. you know cool. some stuff to really liven it up. So yeah. strings, that was like one of the coolest things about about this record for me, just because I'd never done it before. The you real mean, strings, uh, like violin type yeah. strings. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. It brings out yeah, a whole new emotion to everything. <laughs> So in the past three years, you guys been playing, gigging a lot. What's some of the craziest shit you've encountered playing shows? <laughs> craziest shit. We rolled into Idaho. I think it was our first trip to Idaho, playing Boise mm -hmm. really often. And uh, what was this? Some, some, you saw some girl get hit by a dude? Oh, yeah. This, he, he was there. He'll tell the story. Yeah, this dude just <laughs> punched this chick in the face. Oh, like, my full God. Full force. And then, like, was all fucking, like, took, <laughs> off, took off running. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And me and one of the sax players uh, like chased him over the fucking <laughs> rail. Chased him. Cornered him into a fucking alley. That sounds like Dave. And then, the, and then the police like thanked us and shit. It was cool. Mm -hmm. Rolling in town, yeah. start fighting crime. You know, right? yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, there's so much good shit. There's so much good yeah, it's, shit. It's a good bunch of guys because everybody's down you know, with the nature aspect too and we're traveling through places. Cool. So we're all like floating down rivers and climbing into canyons 
uh, stop at places and yeah, check it out. For yeah, for sure. Around. Everybody likes to be out. It's got yeah. that kind of spirit, so we have a good time. Well, road. that's good. I mean, it's really important when you're out on the road to get along with the people you're Yeah, have some fucking with. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. exactly. You gotta stop. You can't just sit there in the van and just the whole time. Yeah, we, we have fun. fun. Yeah. We're a bunch of troublemakers. We make it fucking fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's boring. Yeah, we, we trash hotel rooms, you know. Yeah, yeah the whole rock yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Blew everything on the ceiling, <laughs> yeah. punch holes yeah. in the we wall. We break beds, but not steal like, their coffee. Not like the real fun way, but we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not as cool as it sounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, it's because we jump on the bed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we get paid for a while afterwards. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, what's been some of your favorite venues thus far? Uh, the Great American Music Hall. Oh, it's probably wow. like, that's the one that I, you know, I've been wanting to play since I was a kid. Yeah. Because I'm from the Bay Area, so it's easy. You are too. So it's probably yeah. like a real honor just to even Yeah, dude, we here. sold it out. Yeah, that's so, wow. There's some yeah. good videos of that on YouTube. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Bagpipes. Yeah. Oh, we got bagpipes for uh, Slims, and they're, uh, this time we have more than one guy, so there's going to be harmonies. Oh, cool, cool. Wow, so you have two bagpipes. I yeah, maybe three or four, and they're all going to be doing harmonies, and, and they're killed. That's going to be a situation. Yeah. 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 Slims is going to be nuts. Yeah, stage. livestock, yeah. the whole shebang. Awesome. <laughs> and you, you guys might even do the uh, New Year's show at Brookdale, too. Yeah, yeah, it's looking likely. Good. Highly yeah. probable. Yeah. Well, hopefully we get you on that. Yeah, yeah, Definitely. totally. That's like a few days away. So yeah, we yeah, that's that actually coming yeah. pretty soon, huh? Yeah. God, man, it's almost Christmas. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. Totally. It's Christmas. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's our Christmas. Oh, interview. really? Damn it. <laughs> I should be in Texas. Right now. So, uh, what's up for next year after your album's done? Just gonna keep playing shows. It's time to push it, and that's gonna be right. fun. Come out of the fucking cave yeah. and like get out there and have like a shrink wrap product that we're all proud as hell of mm -hmm. and start getting it everywhere. That's 2010. Yeah. It's yeah. promoting this dope ass record that took so much money and time and passion. Yeah. yeah. Not to mention, yeah. Passion. And yeah. not to mention money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> money, passion, money, passion. A lot of both. Yeah. A right. lot more money than blood for sure. Yeah. Okay, so on the internet, where can people find you guys? Uh, if you go to forestday.com, it's just going to direct you back to myspace.com slash forestday. But, um, it's like kind of under construction. Yeah, forestday.com is under So just go there, and then eventually there'll be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. go to the way YouTube and all that stuff. The Facebook cool. thing actually is uh, it's pretty cool now. I mean, that's yeah. blowing up. The, the fan page is on there. It really it's is, good. actually. You can find us on Facebook. It's right. definitely taking over MySpace right and now. And we're yeah, digitally yeah. distributed, and, you know. In any other places, so yeah, yeah, you guys use, lines, lines, obviously. use the internet a lot for all your promo and networking and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're doing we're doing most most of ourselves again. Yeah, yeah. Trying, to, sure. trying to figure it out. Build Build a team. Way. So, anything you want to say to the fans or people who have helped support you, believe in you guys over the years? Uh, I'm blessed, man. Yeah, yeah. He keeps Definitely. it up. He keeps us going. Yeah, we're very lucky. Keeps us getting fired from every job we do. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not giving a fuck about it. Stay on the road. Uh -huh. So we are blessed, dude. Fuck. Yeah, definitely. We we might not have like a gargantuan following yet, but we have such a good loyal fan base that does just makes us keep ticking and plugging away at what we're doing. Yeah, they break alcohol records every show we play. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's got to feel good. It's great. I mean, even in other towns, it's great to it's great to roll into uh, like Boise, Idaho, like I said here. People sing along. Yeah. yeah. It's a great feeling. Yeah, San Luis Obispo. You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, the support is, is amazing. Good shit. Well, it's been numerous for Forest Day. We'll see you guys on the flip side. See ya. Yeah, peace.